Conservation of momentum questions can be some of the trickiest on paper too. This is a combined or separate science. Uh, this question says a train collides with a stationary carriage on the track. Uh, explain why the velocity of the train um, after the collision is less than it was before. So it's one of those common sense things. If a train runs into a carriage and afterwards it still goes along, we should know it's going to travel slower. But how can we use physics to kind of explain why that's happening. Um, so we've got to use the idea of conservation of momentum. Um, that's why it gives us a hint there. Use the idea of momentum in your, in your answer. Uh, so first mark would be saying what conservation of momentum is. Um, so that means the total momentum before is equal to the total momentum after uh, the collision. So that's our first mark out of the way. Uh, now, how do we apply that in this situation? Well, um, during the collision itself, the momentum of the carriage is going to increase. So the carriage initially is stationary. It's going to start moving. So the train's going to be moving. The carriage is also going to move in this direction as well. So that means if the momentum of the carriage goes up, let's just write that down first. So the momentum of the carriage increases after the collision uh, because it's now moving. So that means if the momentum of the carriage has actually gone up after the collision, it means that overall, if the whole thing has to be the same before and after, the momentum of the train has to go down. So momentum of the carriage increases, um, so therefore the momentum of the train must decrease. Now, the question doesn't ask us about the momentum, it asks us about the velocity. So we've got to make sure we can link momentum to velocity. The equation, luckily on your equation sheet that's given to you, um, says momentum equals mass times velocity. Now, we know the mass of the train doesn't change. It's not going to change uh, mass at all. Um, so if mass is constant, then from this equation, we can tell that if the momentum goes down, therefore the velocity must also go down. So velocity also uh, decreases. And that's enough for our uh, four marks uh, for this question.